On Tuesday, we found out that the U.S. consumer confidence for May rose to 86.6 versus the 82.3 expected. The U.S. home price growth picked up in March despite COVID-19. In Germany, consumer morale improved slightly, but job fears remain high. The ECB said the euro area is still on a shaky ground as the economy reopens. The U.K. retail sales remain depressed but the decline is expected to ease. Welcome to the TickMill Update. I'm Kiana Daniel, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the TickMill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your Forex trading friends. On Wednesday, we have some medium risk events from the Eurozone and the US mortgage applications, as well as New Zealand's business confidence. Today, I'm looking at the CAD yen pair, which just like many other major crosses has been ranging between two key levels. In this case, the upper band of the range is at 78 and the pair just reached it on Tuesday. If the range is about to continue, we could see another dip from here towards the lower band of the range at 74.85. Do you think the range will continue? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the TickMill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.